Well, welcome back, y'all. Ah, oh, it's so good to see you, huh? You ready to work today? Wait, what's that? You're tired, huh? You would take today off? Well, there's no quitting in this game, all right, y'all? So uh, I'm just kidding. Anyways, hey, once again, we are back at uh, Team Box, but today I'm joining the boxing class. As you can kind of see, is going on behind me. Oh yeah, so we are excited. Uh, Coach uh, Coach Eric is teaching this one. Um, of course, you'll get to see him here in a little bit. So uh, we're gonna jump in. Uh, we're gonna learn. We're gonna try to grow. We're gonna listen and be coachable and value what the coaches have to say. And uh, I just appreciate the fact that um, we're gonna be here. So uh, glad you're here. Glad you're joining on the journey. Hope you guys are ready to uh, to have some fun. I know I am. And just uh, you know, let's jump right into it. All right. You know what's funny is when I do the. Uh these voiceovers, there's a little countdown. It makes me always think of like a bomb going off. <laughs> it's kind of random. Anyway, okay, uh, let me jump straight into it. So here we are, we're doing sparring at uh, Team Octopus. Once again, and this is the uh, boxing class. This this round gets cut short, just a little disclaimer, but uh, this is Chuck, he was just a really cool guy. So, um, all right, here we go. So first off, um, basically I'm trying to figure out how to get into the pocket with this guy. And he's got kind of a, a nice fundamental stance. Um, sorry, y'all. There's like music in the background. I don't know if you can hear that. You know, you get what you pay for. All right, so uh, trying to use a kind of a hook right there. Um, circle him maybe inside into my power right there. Uh, go for like a low shot. Let me see. I wonder if you can hear the music. I never know. Half the time, all this stuff is like edited and produced, and it's like too late when I realize there's a mistake. But anyways, uh, okay, so kind of got my hand down. I'm trying to draw him in, and the second I saw him, what looks like he was going to engage, I'm throwing like a jab. See, he's being smart. He's doing body shots. He knows what I'm doing. So he's trying to force me to kind of get my hands back up. And uh, So that that time I used a jab, kind of an overhand jab, to keep him circled to, to the inside of the power, or my power, that is. Okay, so we're kind of feeling each other out, kind of did a little off-center, like... Um, like fake the cross to the uppercut. Let's see, so switching back to orthodox. Sometimes it's a little easier to penetrate with this one, be a little more offensive in this stance, I feel. See, yes, it's like, because um, both of us naturally want to go into each other's power. <laughs> Coach. And so anyways, um, so kind of working a jab, did a little uh, lead uppercut when I did that that dip. And so he's kind of talking to him about, um, God, I'm sorry if that's loud. Okay, this is actually Kun Lao. And so uh, this guy got, this got kind of funny because I we were trying to figure out how to spar. And, oh, man, if you haven't Googled Coach or Professor Kun Lao, this guy is just a world champ. Open, He won the open weights for crying out loud. And so I um, so started trying to work and do a little sparring. But Kun Lao's winning record in radiance causes the camera to just kind of short out. For the record, the reason my hands are open right there is I'm trying to now just basically walk into the uh, the pocket with him and just absorb the damage. So I don't know if that's lazy or effective. I really don't know. So let's jump into uh, the Muay Thai next. Don't worry, you'll still get the wisdom and everything. But um, so this dude's name's Awa. This dude is like six four, two fifty or something. I can't remember exact weight, but the, basically, if this doesn't work out for him, he could play defensive end in the NFL. Okay, so. And uh, practice was actually over, but we uh, we agreed to do some sparring just because it's like, because I want to feel what it's like to spar a dude like this. And he was just so gracious because he, at any moment, he could have just obliterated me with his power, but he fought me very, very technically. Um, okay, so he throws a kick. I had to circle out. I, I would have been damaged no matter what. I just kind of just didn't fight it. So uh, he, he stops the leg. I go for the jab. So at this point, I'm trying to figure out how to penetrate into the pocket since he's actually taller. Go for a head kick. He catches it. Probably could have thrown me down right there. Um, he was kind enough to let me go. All right, so I threw a little cross, dipped, duck, ducking under him. And, of course, he's smart with it because with that duck, he uses it to engage us into the clinch. So here we are trying to – clinch fighting is a whole other game altogether. So at this point, I'm trying to work that hand in, my right hand, up uh, to get it around the head. We're kind of in a neutral position. It's not I, – here I go. It's not quite getting it, so he's smart. He, uh, so he separates it. We kind of stalemated. I think I would have separated it too if he didn't first. And so uh, it, it, we kind of neutralized. It was, um, let's see. So next up, now I'm trying to figure out how to penetrate in there through the kick. He catches it. So now I'm having to use balance. I'm using the leg almost as a shield at this point. Like if it was MMA and he bent me over that much, I might even have to just like pull guard. And so, um, or I probably wouldn't have used that. MMA changes things a little bit. So kind of tried to um, throw the jab with ducking under. Let's see. 
Okay, throws a kick, kind of try to be wary of that. And so, there we go. So, threw a little one, two. He came with the power, just had to evade out. So, he's being smart. Now, he's playing my game. Very nice. Yeah, you see that balance? Oh, mission Mike, baby. Okay, so, right at this point, I'm trying to figure out how to get in there. Of course, round comes to an end. God, he was just doing so good of just... Uh, he, he plays a similar game. He's smart. He's using his, his, uh, his height by playing almost like a, like a Mayweather style, like you lean in counter. I do the exact same thing. You can see it when I spar and stuff. So at this point, I'm trying to figure out how to get in there. Kind of testing the waters again. He throws the kick. Same thing. Uh, didn't really want to catch it. That's just not my style. And so uh, threw a little head kick. Let's see. So at this point, and threw a little leg kick, kind of go switching from that like high to low strategy. Let's see. So I can see he's going to circle inside. Here it comes. So I'm going to throw like kind of a hook. Yeah, there it is. And so just because we were kind of getting to the corner, he does a nice little pendulum checking me out. Because as I'm coming, now that my hands are forward, my legs are susceptible. Let's see. So already right, he's kind of feeling stuff out with the jab. Now I'm kind of overextending a little bit. I need to like slow down and think of my pace. I can't, it, like, you want to be pressing forward, but you don't want to overcommit, if that makes sense. So, like, this is a better pace here. Let's see. Had to, kind of had to dip dip that one. He uh, he did a nice little job of the cross, but it's kind of, we're picking up on each other's tendencies. So, in the same way I got that one, he's probably getting the hang of me now. And so, at this point, I tried to do a little off-center overhand just to deal with the height. Kind of threw the kick, same thing. Trying to shield right here at this point. He could have given me some serious knee trouble to the face right there. I don't, I don't, I'm not even going to lie. Okay, so. God, nice job. This guy is so graceful. It's, it's so just technical. I mean, when he fights in whatever weight class he's in, I mean, he's going to be a beast. Look at that. I, just, I ate that kick. Same thing. I was being too aggressive. He spotted it, so he caught the legs. Kind of caught the jab, but he, uh, he, he, when he hit me with that cross, my mouth is a little open. I literally thought I, like, strained something on my jaw for, for a second. Let's see, uh, <laughs> I'm all right, but uh, right in that moment, it's just like, God, that's stuff. All right, so throw the kick, kind of trying to evade the counter. Um, just same thing, he's being smart about it. He's got that front hand, so it's, it's getting tricky. So at this point, oh yeah, then the, the round ends. And so it's it's tough, like he's, he's such a strategic fighter. So, I mean, like who would have thought a dude that big had like that kind of speed? But anyways, um, for the record, as good as it looks like I'm doing, if we both were going all out, I'm, I'm serious. I would have been destroyed, I'm sure. Like within the first two Mississippi count. All right, so here we go. Just trying to find my way in there. Uh, switch to more of an orthodox. That way, because uh, since he's using his power shot, I'm like, I, that's more dangerous than his jab at this point. So I'm kind of switched to orthodox just so it's like, if I'm going to get tagged, it's, it's, it forces him to kind of use his jab more. Same thing, he's circling to the inside. I'm overextending a little bit, in all honesty. So now I got the hands up facing Adam because I'm going to just basically absorb his shots in exchange for getting into the pocket. Okay, so this point, go for a leg kick. Let's see, checks it. Same thing, he, he uh, you know, hit for hit. Let's see, kind of trying to work my way in there. Go for a body kick. He catches it, kind of use the, just a push off instead of a jab. Same thing, working him in there, kind of, Kind of did look at that that's brilliant the way he kept the jab out and so he enforces us into the clinch but now since i'm up against the ropes he has the advantage okay right here i actually flipped him onto his head threw him out of the ring and had to let him back in you couldn't see it it was off screen i'm kidding in case you don't have a sense of humor all right so next up okay so going in here same thing uh kind of back to a little bit of a southpaw boom golly like kind of a little push off to the body I was off balance, not to mention, I mean, he is a beast, you know, so let's see, try to recorrect, kind of come back in here. Now I'm kind of going to a little bit, same thing, back orthodox to kind of force the jab and that way I can dip that and probably going to come with like a, yep, like an overhand or something like that. Same thing, body kick. Let's see. Okay, so next up at this point, it's, um, see, he's leaning back here. It comes again, so I have to be careful. Yeah, let's see. He's being smart though, because he can see, um, uh, Due to the stance, his kicks are going to be really effective right now. So I, I, it gets hard to lean forward because as you want to commit your power into it, kind of faked high, low, boom, that was a nice hook. But um, which is kind of why I switch back to the orthodox. It's, it's I kind of stand switch based off of which combos I'm going to use, just because like if someone kind of has a tip, I don't want to sound more brilliant than I think I am, but like um, that's just what I'm trying to do. But this guy was just so good. Oh, yeah, so. Oh, yeah. 
All right, we just wrapped up the boxing class. It was incredible. I went against this one dude named Vincent. It was just, we went to war for like four rounds. It was just insane. I went against this other dude, his name was Chuck. Guy was awesome. It was just fun sparring with him. Uh, I didn't film too many of them. I think I'll get, I think I got at least one on film. But uh, the class was amazing. It was just tons of sparring. Uh, uh, just Coach Eric was just all over it. He just had so many tips. Um, it, it was unbelievable. It was, it was great. His, just so fundamental, like in the way he teaches like, but his, uh, his attention to detail, like no, wherever your hands were, there's there's nothing that he missed. He called you out on it. There was even one time when I was going against the bag, I started slowing down because I was too busy like thinking about like combos or whatever, like technique. I was like, what do I want to do? Just calls me out on it right away. And so it was pretty funny, but um, he's hilarious. He was awesome. Just such a good class. So we're gonna keep going. We got a Muay Thai one after this. All right, so here we go. All right, y'all. We got Coach Eric. He ran the class. All right. So first, I got a technical question. If there's one like technique. The one principle that you just really helps fighters stand out, what would it be? Learning the basics. You gotta, you gotta have good balance and you gotta have a good jab. Everything works off that. Hmm. Okay, all right, it's simple, but yeah. I love it, okay? Yeah. Everything works off the jab, okay. Yeah. And then a philosophical one is just, if you have just one lesson you've learned from just all your training, and just everything, just the accumulation of it all, that you, you pass on to students, you, felt, you feel it like helps them succeed, what is it? Life lessons is in the ring. There's nothing out, don't happen outside of the ring that you haven't already gone through in the ring. So if you've ever had a fight in a boxing ring, trust me, you can get through life. Wow. There's nothing outside of life that hasn't already happened in a boxing ring. How interesting. Okay, so you're, you're saying like the ring is just, it's almost a training facility for life. Well, yeah, yeah, and, and I'll give you a good example. So, you know, if you're in college, for instance, when I was in college, there was always this, this coach, I'm sorry, there was always this instructor that everybody tried to avoid because he was so hard, his lessons were this. And so when everyone, someone got his class, they would drop it. Well, I was just the opposite. I was a fighter. I came with a chip on my shoulder, just like you did when you come to a fight. I'm coming to win. So I went to his class, I came to win. I passed his class. That's awesome. That, that's an amazing tip. Yeah. Right, also. All right, so we got Coach Eric here. Awesome class, thank you, Coach. All right, y'all, so wrapping up. Just, I just got some rounds in with AWA over there. He was, he was awesome. So uh, I guess just the, the final conclusion of everything is just, uh, it was just an awesome night. Um, the work in here was just so good. Uh, Coach Jeff was just phenomenal. He he was just real fundamental in just the way he taught. Like, you know, I, I, I it's anytime I'm talking about a coach who does good, I notice I, I start throwing the word fundamental around, but he was just was very basic, very simple, but very, very powerful, very effective. We got some great sparring in. Went against freaking Awa. Guy, sheesh, dude's a monster. And then uh, I did a bunch of other sparring that, you know, just didn't make it to the film, but it was just it was an incredible night. I can't recommend this place enough. You know, and just, hey, you know, do me a favor. Come on, y'all, seriously. I need, I need some likes and subscribes. I, I, I can't be at like under 10 forever. No. You know, so I might as well just give up, okay? So don't make, me, don't make me turn into a quitter because you didn't do anything. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, seriously, uh, it was awesome. Make sure you're doing this stuff. Make sure you're exploring. Make sure you get out in the world. Make sure you're doing your training. Make sure you're, you're pushing your body in order to push your mind. You know, I think what Coach said was just incredible when he was talking about the way you just train it for life in here. So. I uh, can't recommend it enough if you're not doing it already. Go, just go find an academy near you. But if for any reason you're in the Atlanta area, Atlanta area passing through, just visiting or gonna be, be here, just Team Octopus, it's phenomenal. Uh, maybe I'll get in here another night or something, I don't know, we'll see. So hey, talk to y'all soon. All right y'all, so we got Coach Jeff here. We just finished up the Muay Thai class. I got, my first question for you is, if there's um, a technique that you just highly recommend that really led to like a lot of your own personal successes or kind of a fighting principle, what would it be? A teak or a push kick. Time. One of the most effective, I think, single most effective moves you can do in the ring. Push kick their teeth, sets everything up. Counter, offense, defense. Mm. Really Range. just kind of gauging where everyone's at. Where everyone's at. You can set up kicks, set up everything. So really work on, on your teeth. Ropes. Yeah. That's what's up. Okay, all right. And the next one is more of a philosophical one, but if there's just one principle that you feel just really helps a fighter just transcend, get better, help set them apart, and just will really help them just in the ring, what what is a principle that you feel you've kind of learned or, or just witnessed or experienced, whatever? I think you have to win the fight before you ever get in the ring. You have to be mentally prepared with what you're doing and have no options, no doubts, no questions. Have your training already in place with the mentality it's in place when you get in the ring. 
Because the fight's won long before you get in the ring. Once you get in the ring, there's nothing you can do about it. It's outside the ring that matters. So, so you're not so not trying to figure out what you're going to do in the ring. You need a. You need to. You, when you get in the ring, you should know what you're doing as soon as you step in that that cage. Okay, so like um, you fought before, right? Yes. So so when you like went into a fight, like one that you won, what? Like, where were you at mentally or something right before the fight that just you felt mentally, really led you to success? Mentally, I knew I'd just go in there and win. I had a game plan in place. I knew exactly what I was going to do, how I was going to, uh, you know, make it happen. And I just went in there and followed the plan. Um, you know, there's surprises in the ring, but if you're training and your body just flows and you've got that mentality where you know what to do, and you're, you know, it's just reflex. You don't have to think about it. That's, that's freaking awesome. All right, y'all, so... All right, so once again, here we are. Uh, Team Octopus just finished Muay Thai. Thank you, Coach. That was great, man. Good work. All right, thank you, sir. Stop back by. Oh, I will. I will. All right.